Hey there, it's Elizabeth Mack and you're watching another edition of Limelight Live. This week we are at Hotel Duval Level 8 Lounge outside on the deck. It's a very nice day. It actually just rained a little bit ago, but it's dry now, which is good. Joining me this week is Jason Johnston, aka Mr. Tallahassee. So Jason, tell me how you became, I guess, quoted Mr. Tallahassee. Well, it, and it really depends on uh, who you are and if you really want to consider me that on any given day, because there's a lot of people walking around that deserve the title. Uh, but years ago, I uh, found some time on my hands and I uh, got really involved in Tallahassee and had a dinner party and some friends were like, oh, there's nothing to do in Tallahassee. Yeah. And I went through all my 11 years of college Mm -hmm. went through my 11 years of college and you don't know how many people from Miami and Atlanta and New York and all these places and they were always like there's nothing to do in Tallahassee because all they did was a strip or some mm -hmm. part of Pensacola Street yeah and I'd always try to help them and I, so I told my friends over dinner I was like well I have this this Friday this this Saturday Thursday night I got the business after hours the next Wednesday I had breakfast with the chamber I had this this and they were like wow there's a lot going on we didn't know there was so much going on aren't you just Mr. Tallahassee? I was like, all righty then, we're going to play this out as much as possible. So yeah. I had another dinner party and I invited him as Mr. Tallahassee. Mr. Tallahassee invites you to his home for dinner. Okay. Anyways, it so played out way too far from there. <laughs> so it seems like it's just a hobby. So tell me who is Jason Johnston? Well, I'm born in Tallahassee. I was actually the longest baby born on record in Tallahassee the day I was born. My poor mother, 24 hours of labor on Labor Day. Wow. Very cliche story. Yeah. <laughs> so then I went on, went to school here, public education, um, started, always wanted to go into business for myself. So mm -hmm. I got somehow dropped into computers and now I repair computers for small and big businesses, set up networks, do consulting for people who have in-house IT. Now is this your own business? It's my own business. Okay. I pretty much since I was 21 been in business for myself. Awesome. That's cool. I'm always amazed by this because there was someone else, I think is a network of young professionals and I thought he worked for a bank. But it turned out that he was actually running his own business, and I was like, wow, I'm slightly jealous. Like, I don't know, he's 26. So, <laughs> I was like, I'm about to turn 25. It makes me feel a little like I'm not doing enough in my life or something. No, it's, <laughs> it's a lot, and I know a lot of 40-year-olds that start their own business. It's actually a good idea. Get some money, collateral underneath you, capital yeah. up underneath you. So there's no race in this. Okay. But there's a lot of entrepreneurship in Tallahassee. There's a lot going on here. That's one of the things I love about it. So then, back to being Mr. Tallahassee, I guess, how did you go about, you know, finding all the things to do? Because I often say there's a lot to do in Tallahassee. Everyone knows me as a girl about town, and I constantly stay busy. Like, there's very, there's rarely a dull moment, trust me. <laughs> and I keep, it's like I'm preaching to the choir when I'm saying, like, yeah, I'm beating the dead horse. There's a lot to do in Tallahassee. But no one seems to believe me. You're, you're right. And one of the biggest problems is some people just don't open their eyes. Mm -hmm. And the people who know generally know. They know you. They know the, what's going on. But, you know... There's so many websites. Tallahassee was a big online community. We started having websites for businesses and organizations way before a lot of other cities. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Tallahassee or MRTLH.com, I have stuff. I have people that post things on other websites and I pick and choose what I think my viewers want to see more. But there's uh, you know, any number of places that you can get stuff. I mean, there's volunteerleon.org, I think it is, has pl plenty to do if you really want to get out in the community more. If you're looking to get healthy, uh, golfwinds.org, great true. running club and organization. I mean, I remember you wins. just Google it. I mean, it's online. That's true. I Googled karaoke last week for a column that I was working on, and I got like 10 different places that were doing karaoke. Now, mind you, I did call to double check to make sure these places are still doing it because, you know, karaoke means touch and go. Well, and there's a lot but, of websites out there that are stale or grab mm -hmm. stale information. That's why it's good to go to Tallahassee yeah. Democrat online or go yeah. to my <laughs> website, mrtlh.com. <laughs> Or you can check our Limelight page on Facebook or follow us on Twitter as well. But um, I guess, so then tell me, you mentioned a variety of things. It wasn't just like entertainment. You mentioned chamber breakfast and chamber, up chamber. And business after hours and stuff like that too. So it's not just partying. Like there's networking, no. <laughs> there's dining, there's entertainment, and there's some partying. And business <laughs> and professional development yes. and home building workshops. I mean, what are... You know, there's a, a lot of real estate agents that give take their time and actually will give free seminars on the best way to make sure you secure yourself a home. 
chamber is not just for small business owners or salespeople. The There's a lot of personal development. They give uh, generally have some sort of program with TCC to give free uh, off classes on how to use Office or computers or other continuing ed. Leadership add. Tallahassee. The leadership and the Young Leadership Tallahassee yes. program for high school students. Mm -hmm. Um, I think they even maybe starting a middle school one, or they already have. I, I know. Really? Forgive me if I'm off of my details, my friends at the chamber. But <laughs> you all do so much; it's hard to keep up with all the time. <laughs> That's true. They are very, very active in the community. I always like that as well. Because I don't think um, I'm from Tampa. Maybe just because it's a big city, and maybe you have to dig a little. Tampa's bit big. Yes, Tampa's big. It's not big. It's just it's spread big. out. Well, oh, there's a lot more people. I think Tampa, the city limits of Tampa, but like. Even if you're like in the burbs, like in Brandon, shout out to my hometown, Brandon. Yes, it's still Tampa. That's true. It's still Tampa. That's true. <laughs> it's true, and it's beautiful, and it has St. Pete nearby and Clearwater. And I yes. just was I at St. Pete, went down to the uh, the pier. Yeah. I mean, it's beautiful, but I mean, we have that here. I mean, we have we do. Adam Street, Gang Street. I can't wait for it to open the uh, either, the new yes. park downtown, Cascades. Mm -hmm. My father played high school football at the, the stadium there, really? which used to be the FSU stadium. I'm excited about it reopening. Oh, I it's... can't wait. I'm like, I really want the construction to like wrap up. I'm like, yes, let's do it. Let's get there. And I was told about this uh, Shakespeare in the Park, is the festival that used to go on at Cascades. It, yes, uh, there was a lot of activity I don't downtown. Know what this is. It technically is the reason why the Capitol was placed on the hill it was, because mm -hmm. it was just up. That was a natural spring that just you know yeah. came up on its own, and it was there. And they were like, okay. I'm really sad about this. So there are some other things going on this weekend. We can't forget that it's the 4th of July on Monday. Oh, it's so busy. And in Tallahassee, we love to celebrate. So of course there's events starting off from Friday because that's just, there's no other way to do it. <laughs> there's just no other way. Um, so Friday will be the Red, White & Blue concert at the Tallahassee Senior Center, which I thought was really nice because our seniors love to be out and active, which is very refreshing in Tallahassee to know. So that'll be in the evening. I believe it starts at 6 p.m., but don't quote me on that. I'm sorry, I forgot to write down the time. My bad. But then also, first Friday at Railroad Square happens every first Friday of every month, all year long, rain or shine. It's an excellent It's an event. excellent event. There's music, there's art, there's food. In the summer, make sure you wear shorts and be prepared for yes. the rain this week. Yes, because it will probably rain, which is good. Yeah, you know, we have like 50, 40, 30% chance this Friday. Yeah. So. And then also, Food Truck Roundup is something that's, if you know about Food Truck Thursdays, every Thursday, the food trucks in Tallahassee meet up at Cuzzy's over on Tharp Street next to the Burger King. But now they're also adding Friday night as well. So if you can't make it Thursday because you have to get up, you know, get the kids up and stuff on the weekday, then there's also Friday night. So they're having a food truck roundup. That'll be on Friday, usual time. I think it starts at six and it goes to 10 o'clock. There's karaoke, there's... <laughs> I love my Aunt Karen expression about this. She calls it a tailgate without a football game or any other game for that it's matter fun. so it's just a fun lots it of food really is. the first time i went on food truck thursday and i saw them pull out the karaoke machine i said this is no longer <laughs> your average tallahassee event it's just not it was some of everything going on and the food is really really delicious if you stop by any of our food trucks you would know i mean yeah you can't you can't beat that you just can't and then so starting off officially for 4th of July weekend is the Big Ben Freedom Fest and a reason to cheer for this 4th of July. There's events starting on the 1st and I will start off with the first Friday gallery hop which we also mentioned. Aside from going to Railroad Square you can go to different galleries around town that usually have wine and cheese and you can check out the they're usually opening up an art show that day or I mean for that month or yeah, period, for that of time, month or period yes. of time. Um, so that's also going on. They brought back the trolley, so you can also do that. It actually stops here at the, at the Hotel Duval, so. And where else? Lemoyne Art Center is another it's stop. It's always a great place. New Leaf Market is another stop. So, I mean, you can stop at any of these locations. Get on there. I think it's like $5, and you just. It, it's a great event. Have a great time. And check out some wonderful art, because we really do have some really good artists. It's a lot of talent in Tallahassee. And then Saturday is the Downtown Marketplace from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. They're out there from March to December. Free, not free uh, food. Well, fresh they have lo lots of fresh food. <laughs> they have your kettle corn. They have they have uh, snow cones, yep. especially during this time of year. There's live entertainment. There's always a little Kids bit of activities. everything. It's kind of like a downtown get down, but just just not, on a more intimate scale. Right. It's at Ponce de Leon. It's just two blocks there. instead of like all sprawled yeah. out throughout downtown. It's at Ponce de Leon Park again from 9 to 2, 8, 2 p.m. And then Saturday would be Blues and Barbecue Festival at Clayman Plaza outside of Harry's. 
They had this for the first time last year and it was amazing. King Cotton was there. There was someone else there that was like really King Cotton school. goes on at 8 till 10 that day. Really? Yeah, I'm my excited. friends my friends in, uh, at King Cotton would be happy really? that I know the time because I got it penciled <laughs> in and I'm going. So like the food starts at 11 and it's barbecue. There was, last year there were Gerties, there was Off the Chain, there was Perry's, there was, it's, it'll be good. Just the food alone will get you excited. But then of course there's a lineup of bands and all the bands start at 3 p.m. and it will go to 10 p.m. And then also on Saturday there will be the Echo Street and Feed Music Festival at Railroad Square from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. It's supporting Echo which does a lot in the community. We can't ever you know, deny that they help people get jobs, help families that are out in the streets find a shelter and home and so I don't know. I think it's a good cause. I'm, all, I'm a sucker for a good cause. And then also the Bayou Bash and Street Party at Poor Boys Downtown from 5 p.m. to 10.30 on Saturday. John Sweet, the owner, loves Ooh, to throw no. party it's for everyone. Sunday. It is on Sunday. It is on Sunday. The, it, it's great. He's going to block off from uh, Calhoun to Monroe Street, yep. have the uh, College Avenue there, have three bands that day. And I don't know if they had this last year along with 4th of July. I don't think No, I don't think so either. But, but it's they, the city. The city's working hard. All mm -hmm. the commissioners in the city are really working hard. And visit hard. Tallahassee. Visit Tallahassee is also um, putting this together. As Trying well. to get people into the community, things to do all weekend long. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. And it kind of, I suppose it'll kind of be like the Crawfish Festival that happens It is. Year, Almost just like it, really but they're going to have the regular menu. Mm -hmm. John and Rachel told me that they're so excited to have us all there. I'm excited. I can't wait. Ooh, and I have off that day, so I'm definitely going to be there. Can't wait. Can't wait. Ooh, and one more thing, of course, we can't forget on 4th of July, which is Monday this year, we'll be Celebrate America at Tom Brown Park. You know, it wraps up with fireworks. However, um, with the fire ban, I don't know if that's going to happen. But don't quote me on that. I don't know. They might still have fireworks. So I understand all... they probably will still have fireworks. Let's just count on it. <laughs> and that is all. I don't know if there's, there's definitely something going on every day from. Oh, and, and just... <laughs> there's so much going on this weekend. There's almost no reason to look for the next week. There's but, just, yeah. But I mean, you're going to need to rest after this weekend, pretty much. Just take it like that. So I hope you all have fun and I hope you have a safe 4th of July. Don't drink and drive. Call a taxi and just have a good time. All right, that's all I have for you. Thanks again. It's Limelight Live, and I'm Elizabeth Mack. This is Jason Johnson, Mr. Tallahassee, and I'll see you next time. Bye.